Well, I think we actually will be able to show you a balloon landing. We can show you what one looks like just after it's landed. If you go to the left, Manu, quickly, you can see the one collapsing there. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> How cool is that? So they have just landed, and down goes the balloon. Imagine how hot that air must be if you're standing at the base of that balloon, just rushing out. Quite a thing. I'm told the landings, to be honest, can be quite hairy. Of course, you don't have any wheels. You're just landing in a ginormous picnic basket, essentially. And they can be quite rough and tumble. So I don't want to talk negatively about the experience, but it is certainly a reality. I guess on the windier days, today must be easier for landing because it's not very windy. And some days, balloon rides will be cancelled due to high speed winds, which make mainly the landings treacherous. I guess the takeoffs could also be a bit of an issue. And there you can see the pilots ejecting some flames of burning fuel to give them a bit more lift. Must be interesting. Manu, how long does it take from till 15 seconds. Oh, there we go. Thank you. So it's 15 second delay from cranking the gas to getting the delayed response from that hot air. And that balloon, Manu, can take 15 people, or does it depend? 15. <clears throat> Hello to Sniper. Um, all these questions I'm going to be going through Manu because he is the most experienced out of all of us in these balloon trips as he has been doing all of the filming out of them. So Manu, the shortest balloon trip time relative to the longest, roughly? Uh, depends on the wind. Okay, so the faster the wind, the shorter. Yeah. And if it's a very windy day, will it be 30 minutes? The shortest though? 25 minutes to an hour and a half. So, I mean, that is a crazy variance. And the distance that you travel will be the same. So, the wind is often blowing. Oh, here goes. Oh, that looked like a very slick landing. Perfect. We've got a question from the director of this live safari, Rebecca. She's also very interested, so well done whoever got these balloon questions going. And she would like to know, what does Manu prefer, a fast balloon ride or a slow balloon ride? Slow. Slow, slow and steady. Probably makes your camera work a bit easier. Uh, and a less treacherous landing. <laughs> is Manu's main reason for preferring a slower ride, not just for time floating above the Mara, but again for a smoother landing. I mean, those things are ginormous. They are huge, these balloons. I couldn't believe it the first time I went to go and drop off. I think it was Senzo who I went to go and drop off at a balloon trip. And when they take off, there's about four or five of them that all take off from the same spot. And they literally, as they inflate each balloon, they're touching one another. So these massive, massive balloons just clouding the sky above you. Very good.